Ladies and gentlemen, oh dear, please be quiet, yes indeed, quiet now, he could hear us, don't let him smell our fear, well, maybe not so much your fear, but definitely mine. Whatever the case, Mellow Greetings, good day, and welcome back to the psychotic world of Let's Play, The Evil Within. When we last left off, a harrowing escape from the Butcher's Lair, one that we almost did not survive. However, unfortunately, it is not yet over, for he has returned. Yes, indeed, the Butcher, armed with that chainsaw of his. But we... We might just be able to make it through this, because apparently, according to the note of our mysterious Mr. R, there could be a functioning elevator just beyond the old ward, which we are currently in. Of course, it isn't going to be that simple. Do keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, while our leg that he injured was still healthy, he still managed to catch up with us rather swiftly, and thus I would hate to imagine what were to happen if he were to capture us once more in our vulnerable, vulnerable state. Oh dear, this, this is not a good situation to be in, not a good situation at all, but time to stealth it up. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to play a drinking game, take a shot whenever I mention one of the two following phrases. Either, yes indeed, or, oh my god, because while editing the two previous episodes, I certainly noticed that I happen to say both of those things a lot. But what can you do? It happens. I prefer to talk rather than remain silent, call it filler, commentary if you wish, repetition over dead air. Now then, he is certainly an obstacle, but we have got no choice, no choice whatsoever. Oh, this is bad, this is so bad. I think I can see him over there, and he is certainly tearing apart something. I don't want to go in there, I don't want to, but do we have a choice? I think we have established that there is no choice. The only choice here would be you either survive or perish. Oh my god. There it is again. On purpose. Oh my god. Yes indeed. Oh my god. Ah, what to do? What to do? Where must I go? He is certainly an angry individual, isn't he? I don't really know if he is supposed to be a human or not, but he does possess some inhuman strength. Being able to just knock doors off their hinges, that isn't good. I wouldn't survive a direct confrontation, nope, I would not. Perhaps over there, at the end of the room, yes indeed, that passageway, how am I supposed to get there unnoticed? He doesn't even care that nobody is there, just swing that thing around, oh my god. Oh my god, no 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 no. No 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 no. No 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 This is so bad. I suppose also take a shot whenever I say no. Perhaps now? Oh god. Where am I going? This is a dead end. Over here? Oh, there is something. There is something like... Ah, an open... an open grate? Alright, I guess I can sneak through there. Oh shit. 
I can't let him see me. Can't let him see ya, indeed, Sebastian. Oh, fuck this. Oh, fuck this. Oh, fuck this. Oh, my God, fuck this. It's a goddamn dead end. Let us hide, oh, please. Come on, Sebastian, please hide. Uh, uh. Couldn't find the proper key for a second. But just in time, bloody hell, just in fucking time. Oh my god, he is approaching, he sure is approaching. Uh, uh, he is destroying the crates, that is good. And he is back inside the room. Should I dare to leave the locker? I don't think I should do it yet. Maybe he is gonna destroy the other crates as well. Let us wait for a second. We have got time. We have got all the time in the world. He isn't going anywhere. I am not going anywhere. Everything is perfect. He must have like, I don't know, a pattern to his patrol, right? Is there a pattern or is it just all random? If it is random, oh my god. How am I ever gonna make it through this? Well, like I said, we have got time. It's not like the world is gonna end soon. We have got all the time there is. Oh dear. Just leave and please just do me the favor. God damn it. Alright. I think I am just gonna dare it now. Yes, indeed, I am gonna be daring. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell, bloody hell. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He is so unpredictable, I don't know where he is going, I don't know, there is no pattern. Is there a pattern? Perhaps, but I am not seeing it. Alright. How about this? How about this? When he enters the hallway right there, now we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please don't see me, please. Oh please, oh please. I have got places to be. I have got hopes and dreams. Uh, this corner. Alright, where to now? Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I don't think I am gonna be able to survive. I don't think... Oh, what is this? Uh, something to pick up. Something to pick up indeed. I grabbed myself a bottle. Alright, can I use this to distract him? Perhaps. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Um, I've got an idea. Oh shit. Now he is over there. Alright, uh, throw the bottle in there. Yes, indeed, we are going to throw that bottle and pray. Pray for the best. Pray, just pray. Where is he? Where is he? It's so dark, I can't see him. Oh shit. Oh shit. God damn it. He is looking this way. No, 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 no. Please go. Please go. Don't come over here, please. Oh, fuck this. A good thing he doesn't appear to be all that smart. Now just throw the bottle. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. <sighs> Alright, hurry. 
Hurry down. Hurry down, hurry down, hurry down. There is no time. Uh, oh my god, I am gonna limp a little faster. Uh, I am out. I am out. I am so going to be out of here. God damn it. To hell with this basement. Oh shit. Uh. Alright. You shouldn't know that I have made it this far. You shouldn't know, you shouldn't know. Where is the goddamn elevator? I hope you didn't lie, my friend, Mr. R. Oh, there's a checkpoint. Beyond this door. There it is. The elevator. Oh my god. Oh please, oh please. Oh shit. Ah! Oh my god, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, this is so bad. Could you limp a little faster? Ah! Onto your feet. Onto your feet. Sebastian, come on. Please, let me leave. God. <coughs> I should have stayed in bed this morning. Fucking hell. Find myself within. Darkness twisting me around. There is nothing. Well, 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 wasn't that a fancy introduction? I suppose I have introduced you to this world several times already, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the evil within. And now we are back. Yes, indeed, I think we have reached the surface. Back. Oh my god, soon some fresh air. Be gone. All of the filth from down below, the lair of the butcher. I am not even gonna question why the elevator opened on its own, why it closed on its own, as if somebody was controlling it, almost. Not gonna question it. But he is gone. Ah, that was a close call indeed. He can rot down there. In the depths of this hospital, for all I care, he can rot forever. Well, it worked. The elevator certainly played an important part. Ah, <sighs> my god. It played such an important part. I survived. I became the one who escaped. He didn't lie. That mysterious fella did not lie. Well, I suppose now we should try to find our partners. What about Joseph, Kidman, the doctor, even Connolly outside? Did they suffer the same fate? Or was I the only one? I mean, when I got ambushed by that strange man, Joseph and the doctor, they were both in the same room. You cannot tell me they didn't notice anything. Alright, try to gather my bearings. I can see a hallway, I can see a door, and I can see bodies. Are those dead officers, alright? Try to keep your guard up. Just because we escaped the depths, that doesn't mean it is safe up here. 
Oh my god, alright. Easy now, easy. I don't have a weapon. Well, the knife. I do own the knife, but no actual firearm. Be careful. Thankfully, it appears that my leg injury has miraculously healed itself. Alright. Not gonna question it. Ever since I arrived here, you know, things, they have stopped making sense. The situation is just growing worse and worse and worse. Maybe I should just leave. Maybe I should. Bloody hell. If my partners are dead, I swear to God, how much more... I don't know. How much more and catastrophic could this situation grow? Careful now, Sebastian. Careful. You don't know what awaits you. Thank God. Some actual windows. I am back to the surface. Can you believe that this random elevator just connects to that dark basement? I mean, sure, first you've got the old ward, but beyond that, who built the lair of the butcher? Just who built it? Is this like a criminal conspiracy? What did uh, Connolly mention in the beginning on the right here? That there used to be a doctor who chopped up his patients? But Joseph said that didn't happen. Some kind of scandal? I don't know. But isn't that door over there so very inviting? Alright. Nothing so far, just the bodies. A wheelchair. Certainly a theme that we have been running into. And that wheelchair, then again, this is a mental hospital. happening? An earthquake? Are you kidding? What the fuck is going on? I think I am just gonna leave. I am gonna fucking leave. Nothing... Just nothing... Nothing is changing toward the better. Nothing at all. Ah! Ah! God damn it! Ah! Oh my god. The main hall, this is the main hall, but there is nobody around. Just the bodies. But the ground quakes? Why the hell is it quaking? What is going on? The security room is over there. Joseph? Oh, fuck this. Joseph? It is closed. I can't open it. Oh my god. Just leave. Just fucking leave. Smartest idea I had all day. Just fucking... Ah! What is going on? Detective! Get in! Get in! Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't. I just... That man. Hey, where's Joseph? Man, I'm sorry, but you never came out. I'd waited, but uh, please settle uh, down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Shit! There's no going back. Oh, you don't fucking say! You don't fucking say! Bloody hell! That is some fancy driving, Connolly. Glad you survived and are with us. Oh my god, the crane. Watch for the crane, watch out! Jesus Christ! Is 
this the end of the world? What did I miss? What did I fucking miss? Oh, something is moving. What the hell? Shit. Step on it. Step on it. Step on it! Damn. Just damn. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, I am at a loss for words. Damn it. Are we cut off from everyone? Everyone must be dead. Everyone all right back there? Just a few bumps. We're fine. 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 We will be once we're fine. far away. Fine. A little further and we'll be fine. It's him. Fine. It was him. Fine. What the? Fine. 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 Fall! Fall! Ah! Oh, what the fuck? And Connolly, what are you doing? Um. Be still my beating heart. Well, what can I say? What can I fucking say? Chapter 1 clear. Isn't that beautiful? Chapter 1 has been cleared, and what a grand way to finish it off. My god, what do you even say? After... After having witnessed something like that. What happened beneath the mental hospital, that was pretty fucked. However... On the surface, I mean, like, things were supposed to get better. Instead, Crimson City just in front of our eyes tore itself to pieces. The goddamn apocalypse just happened. But why? Why? Well, I suppose I managed to fool you, didn't I, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, indeed. Those of you who dared to watch my introduction, I bet some of you thought this was going to be a story about Crimson City and its many crimes, but no, uh uh uh. Can't be about that shit now because the city is fucking gone. It is just gone. Turned into a wasteland of ruins. And everyone is apparently dead? There was like no one on the streets. There was no one but us. Absolutely no one. And Joseph is apparently gone, he never came out. Bloody hell. I guess it was a good thing that we left Kidman outside after all. But how did the doctor manage to escape? He was with Joseph. And apparently another survivor joined us, a patient. Uh, what was his name? Leslie? What was up with him? Like, at first, uh, he just, uh, you know, behaved kinda weird. As uh, mental patients do, I suppose. But then he kept saying, fall, 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 and then we did actually fall. Why was the street all of a sudden gone? Just... Just nothing past the tunnel. Actually, like, was, was even the tunnel still complete or, like, uh, cut in half? I don't know. But that man, he appeared again on top of the hospital and then inside of the fucking ambulance. Who is he? What does he want from us? With us? I don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, that, 
that was the first chapter, just the first chapter of Let's Play The Evil Within. The first chapter filled to the brim with madness. But what is going to happen now? What is going to happen next? In this world of nightmares? Well, first of all, I'd say we are definitely going to save the game. Because why not? Who knows what might happen next? Oh my god. Oh yes, and let us not forget the elephant in the fucking room, Connolly. What happened to him? What was happening to him? Like, he did such a fine job steering us away from all that mayhem. Without him, my god, he saved Sebastian. He was waiting for him, that hero. He saved Kidman, he saved the doctor, the patient. And he drove us out of Crimson City. My god, that driving. Truly, truly masterful. But then, after that man appeared once more, he started changing. Turning? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What is happening anymore? Ugh, I don't know. I give up for now. I, I think I, I am just gonna give up for now. That's what I'll do, yes. Until then, until then, I suppose, ladies and gentlemen, my name has been The Shadow Cookie, and you better take care of yourselves. You better take care, because if you don't watch out, the butcher might just drop by. Yeah, I am horrible when it comes to making outros. I am just saying all the random stuff that comes to mind. But look at him there. Look at him. He couldn't cut through the bars, thankfully. He couldn't cut through them. But I doubt that we have seen the last of that bastard. I sincerely doubt it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Until then.